Hey everyone, so, um, yeah, I'm not made up or anything, and I kind of look horrible, but I just watched the Ellen DeGeneres show for the first time, because, you know, I was waiting for Judge Judy to come on, and I was trying to, you know, um, find a show that I could watch before she comes on. So I turned to the Ellen DeGeneres show, and she was talking about One Million Moms and how they, um, how in California they deemed the, pro uh, I think it's called Prop 8, um, Oh, what's the word? Unconstitutional. And, um, so, Ellen DeGeneres was talking about One Million Moms, so I was like, well, I never heard of this group before, I'm gonna look them up. And, like, I understood that they were against gay rights, and I kind of wanted to go on their wall and, like, like them and bash them. But I couldn't find them. So I found this group called One Million Human Beings Against One Million Moms. And I saw this picture that they had of a One Million Moms um, screenshot. And I'm going to read you some of them right now. This one says, Ellen DeGeneres is a sodomite. Look the word up. I'm against homosexuality. She has issues and no truth in her life. First of all, who said she has issues? I mean, like, of course, everyone has issues. If you don't have issues, then, you know, you're not a normal human being. And second, how does she have no truth in her life? I don't understand it. From what I understand, even though she's gay, she's still living a normal life. She's not doing anything wrong. It's not like she's going out robbing banks and murdering everyone that she sees on the street. She's a, a successful woman. I do not support her or any gay. If I find out that a company is gay-owned or a show has a homosexual in it, I'm done with it. Okay, first of all, I mean, like, you won't find every company has, like, gay people owning it, but there are some. And also, TV shows with homosexuals in it, nowadays you're going to find almost that, just about almost every TV show has a homosexual in it. So what are you going to do, stop watching TV altogether? Thank you, One Million Moms. Even if we don't win, just knowing that you are out there standing strong on your morals makes it better. For all you do, thank you. Yes, I agree. One Million Moms is standing strong on their morals. There are morals to make sure that no human is happy. Now, this one made me laugh. I called two JCP offices. One woman who answered said she could not discuss the Ellen DeGeneres issue. I asked to speak to her manager. But she would not connect me. First of all, managers have better things to do than hear people complain about you don't like their spokesperson. I asked that he called me. I'm still waiting. The other JCP store did not seem interested in talking to me about this issue. Duh! Goodbye, JCP. Um, here's one. They tried to sound nice, but really? They're just being a nice bitch. I see from reading these comments that many are thinking that One Million Moms is out to get Ellen. No one wants to hurt Ellen, but we are very concerned that her lifestyle will be portrayed as normal. It's not. What makes her lifestyle not normal? I mean, other than her being on TV, I mean, that's not what, you know, normal... Most normal Americans don't have a TV show. The lucky ones do. But just because she wants to love someone of the same sex makes that unnormal? I don't understand that at all. She's in love. Let her be in love with whoever she wants. Her loving a woman is just as normal as a man loving a woman and a woman loving a man. And a man loving a man. God have mercy on America, which is deceived into thinking that what is wrong is right and what is right is wrong. One million moms is perceived as wrong for trying to protect our children from a destructive lifestyle. I will not shop at JCPenney. Um, it is wrong because you're telling people that they're not allowed to love. They're not allowed to have freedom of who they love. This is America. We're supposed to have that freedom. Are you crazy? One million moms is wrong. And, and how are gays, you know, going out to your children and being like, oh, I'm gay, you should be gay too, it's fabulous. 
no, they won't do that. You know, they're just as private as a straight couple. Here's the last one. Thank you, One Million Moms, for leading the way in telling J.C. Penny that we do not appreciate their selecting an openly gay woman as their spokesperson, while they are wanting to buy, while they are wanting families to buy their merchandise. As moms, we don't want our children thinking that this is an okay lifestyle. This is our job to protect our children, and that we will. Yes, I agree. It is your job to. It is your job as a parent to protect your children. But in no way, just because J.C. Penney hired Ellen DeGeneres, are they saying that, you know, all our kids should be gay? Being gay is an okay lifestyle, just like being straight is an okay lifestyle. Just because J.C. Penney hired Ellen DeGeneres doesn't mean they're going to be posting, like, pictures of her kissing her her um significant other who happens to be female or having sex with her or like posting on their walls you know be gay it's okay you can be gay i mean it is okay to be gay but they aren't advertising that ellen degeneres is a great spokesperson they want to take advantage of that they aren't in any way telling your children that they should be gay one million moms um, are basically a bunch of Christians getting together to tell America, hey, it's not okay to be gay. Thing is, they don't have one million fans. I think they have maybe about like 47,000 or something. I don't know. But them being Christians and like bashing the gay lifestyle, it kind of scares me because in the Bible, it may, it may say in the Bible that marriage is between a man and a woman. But, but, it also says that thy shall love thy neighbor. That is the freaking Ten Commandments. <laughs> you must never break a Ten Commandments. You break, um, one million moms is breaking a ten, one of the Ten Commandments by saying that it's not okay to be gay and you should hate all the gays. Love thy neighbor. Everyone who likes One Million Moms, basically in my book, is going to hell. And everyone who is gay and who who supports homosexuality are safe. Because we do not hate. <sighs> okay, now that I got that off my mind, I'm going to go and take a shower.